We have new details on yesterday morning's top story. Democratic leaders have pulled two bills concerning Native American tribes from the House floor. One of them could have cleared the way for a resort casino in Taunton. It was that bill that prompted criticism from President Trump on Twitter, urging Republicans to oppose it. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie is in the newsroom with the details new this morning. Well, those bills were supposed to be considered yesterday under a fast track provision. It required two thirds support uh, majority right to pass, making su Republican support necessary. But in a late morning tweet from the president yesterday, he called it unfair and said it doesn't support any of Americans equally. And the president wasn't the only one who opposed the bill. The day before, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung also took to Twitter, urging Republican lawmakers not to support it. Rhode Island and Massachusetts lawmakers have been at odds because the proposed First Light Casino in Taunton would be a boost for the Bay State economy, but would likely draw customers away from the Ocean State's two Twin River casinos. Massachusetts Congressman Bill Keating also took to Twitter, pointing out the president signed a similar bill last year about a tribe in Virginia and then suggested a White House connection may be to blame for the lack of support, writing that Trump has a, quote, well-documented alliance with the Rhode Island casino lobbyist. That lobbyist is Matt Schlapp, a supporter of the president and chairman of the American Conservative Union. It represents Twin River Management Group, which owns Twin River Casino Hotel and Tiverton Casino Hotel. And Schlapp's wife, Mercedes Schlapp, is the White House Director of Strategic Communications. A federal lobbying report provided to the Boston Globe confirms Matt Schlapp's firm received $30,000 from Twin River for lobbying during the first quarter of this year. So right now, no word on when that vote will be rescheduled. It would still need to be approved in the Senate and signed into law by President Trump, which seems unlikely based on his most recent tweet. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.